Another game changer, life-changing tool. Why grease like a peasant when you can grease like a king, right? We're not sponsored yet. Greasy boy! What the f That's not mine. Why? That's not mine. We're cutting the drywall out on a drywall on a 966 or on a D8. They don't. They don't have that. I know. I know. It was a joke. Relax. Relax, John. It's a joke. <laughs> Just kidding. Don't put that in there. He'll be. Uh, we might lose our only fan. <laughs> Just. Just giving me random sh to talk about friggin' drywallers. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh, gross. She just spewed when I pulled the hose out. Wipe it on the cubbies. <laughs> That's what they're for. I'm not gonna actually turn this on. I'll leave, you know what? I'll leave the battery out because it'll just make a mess. So let me put these out, out of the way here. You need a bigger table, man. I need a bigger table for all my stuff. The Milwaukee grease gun. I've warrantied this thing a lot too, only because I use it a lot, but uh, it's super handy. It really beats greasing by hand with an apprentice gun or whatever you want to call them, little friggin' pump guns and stuff. It's one of those tools that I, once you buy it, you realize like, you know, life was meaningless without it. it sucked, everything's terrible. Like why? bother you know anyways it was a good tool it's a really good tool it's just it saves you time it empties a tube of grease like in in no time and especially on like machines that have like really big grease cavities um like on like a boom pin or something or like the stick or whatever like they have like a big empty cavity there and you want to you know grease it up you put like you know five or six tubes sometimes in those and or more more on some machines you can put like a pail in it just saves you a lot of time you know when you're greasing doing servicing you can kind of go around the machine while your oil is draining or something and grease everything and then you know be done greasing by the time your oil is done and move on to something else right um i don't know it's a really it's a really quick way instead of doing it the old hand pumpy way which is fine too like i said you don't need it but uh you don't need it, but you should want it. No, it's one of those things, and it, it chooches pretty high. Like it goes like, they, they say 10,000 PSI, which is pretty crazy for that little thing. I'm, I believe it. I mean, I don't know. I've like straightened out salty tracks and stuff and pushed out, uh, you know, seized idlers and whatnot with it. So it does, it, I mean, it puts out a lot of, puts out a lot of chooch. It works, it does what they say. Top five tools I use as a mechanic. <laughs> yeah. Top five tools I use as a heavy duty mechanic. We're not sponsored. We're not sponsored, but I'd like to be. If you're in the market for any of these tools, please consider supporting the Tecmo channel and using our links in the description.